Hello, this is Louise again, going to spend a little bit of time with you in English. Have you ever found yourself in a meeting thinking, oh, I really need to say something, but hesitated? You didn't interrupt. Perhaps you're actually quite passive in meetings anyway, or perhaps you just didn't have the confidence to come forward and put your opinion or your point of view forward. And there are many ways we can politely interrupt in English. If you do it in a polite way, it's fine. So let me tell you a little story and we are going back to our characters from the previous video, David, the marketing manager with Sally, who was the senior graphic designer, and John, her colleague, who writes content for their social media campaigns. And they are discussing audience engagement today in a meeting. So let me give you a little idea of maybe the way the conversation could go. I'm going to read. Let's start with the statistics, David began. You can see that audience engagement has been falling and we really must... Excuse me for interrupting, said Sally. No problem. Go ahead, David replied. I wonder if our audience might be tired of seeing the same kind of content in the same style, the same layout, the same... May I interject? John asked. Of course, Sally said. We've been suggesting diversifying content for a while, he pointed out. We really should consider our industry from different angles. There is so much we could... Can I jump in? Sally asked. Absolutely, John replied. Of course our industry offers diverse topics. Sorry to interrupt, but I've got an idea, David chimed in excitedly. What is it? Sally asked. Well, what if we dot, 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 and the conversation can continue, but it's very natural to have some interruptions. All of them were polite, and it shows that if you do this in a polite, confident, respectful way, then it is absolutely fine and accepted and normal. We heard Sally use, uh, excuse me for interrupting, and also, can I jump in? These are ways to put forward your ideas. And John used, may I interject, which is actually rather formal. That might be something you won't hear very often. May I interject? But David used, sorry to interrupt. And if you use words like, sorry, excuse me, these are great ways of interrupting. There are some common words for interrupting. If you are with colleagues all at the same level, you might say things like, um, sorry to butt in, butting in, sorry to cut in, cutting in. Um, maybe something like, look, I'm sorry to break the flow here, but I really need to say something important. Um, you can find, as always, you can find the transcript and it includes a list of ideas that you could use for politely interrupting. You can find this on a PDF, a link to a PDF in the description of the video. Please subscribe, please like the videos. I would really appreciate it. It would mean a lot to me if you did. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy your coffee break.